a nail biter. The final from Welsh Ryan Arena, 21 15. It's the number 18 Purdue Boilermakers getting past the Northwestern Wildcats. Jeffrey Eisenband alongside Nick Petro. We saw a great one tonight, and at the end, it was just Purdue getting the best of Northwestern. Yeah, and it started out at 133 with Cash Kiroga coming back from injury for his sixth match of the season. The All American from 2010 with a 6 5 decision over Garrison White who is only in the seventh match of his varsity career going on to the next match 141 Brandon Nelson spo spoils Pat Greco's three match win streak with a nine to four decision and then Ivan Lopuchansky the transfer from UNC Greensboro and three-time nas national championships qualifier records a major decision 12 to 4 to keep his undefeated season going so Purdue was up at this point 10 to 0 and Northwestern needed a spark some sort of spark so how about it from the number two wrestler at 157 pounds in the country Jason Welch who would come out and get a takedown here against Tommy Churchard he had a huge match Jason Welch would actually get a tech fall courtesy of this takedown so he cut the lead in half Northwestern right back in it at 10-5 Pierce Harger had a decision of his own 6-3 and then Lee Munster here you see the takedown Munster with a 10-2 major decision Northwestern at this point came all the way roaring back for a 12 to 10 lead before Jacob Berkowitz was unable to get past Patrick Kissel. Kissel getting the major decision 13 2 here to give the Boilermakers the lead. And Boilermakers are able to come out with another win. The heartbreaker from Alex Belize, who loses 5 to 4. And then in the heavyweight match, Mike McMullen, the All American returning, defeats Alex White 9 2 before the match is decided with a dominating effort from Camden Eppert 10 to 0 over the ranked opponent, Dominic Malone. And again, just a prime Big Ten match meet. Why not? A close one. 21-15. Purdue gets the job done. They move to 3-3 three three in the Big Ten. Northwestern to 1-5.